Hey everybody, it's Nick Dolman here, and today I'm going to talk about how we can onboard our users to our Power Pages site when we've configured an external identity provider. Today I'm going to use Azure Active Directory B2C, that's business to consumer, not to be confused with Intra External ID. That will be a new feature that's going to be coming with the wizard in December of this year, according to the release plan. Azure AD B2C is not going anywhere. It's been well established. It's a good external identity provider for Power Pages. If you recall my last video, I configured using Okta. So everything I'm showing you today pretty much applies if you're using Okta as well. Um, what we're going to talk about is going through the three steps. First is uh, registering. Someone can just go to your website, um, click on register and go through that process. The other process I'm going to show you is the invite process where there's an existing contact in our system and we're going to invite them. Now, with these two methods using an external identity provider, whether it's Azure AD B2C or Okta or some of these others, sometimes there's a bit of confusion because the users, they'll be presented with a login screen. They don't know that they're going to have to go through the process to create a brand new account in these external identity providers if they're not already been configured there. If they have been, that's great, no problem. Now I'm going to show you a third method that's not very well, actually it's not even documented, but it is a supported method in order to get your users onboarded to your Power Pages site if they've already been set up or existing in your external identity provider. We're going to go through that process so they don't need to go through that whole registration or go through the invitation process. You can configure them and then using those external identity provider user accounts, they're going to be able to access Power Pages directly. So let's dive into it. I don't have a video of me <laughs> of me uh, on this video because I had some other recording problems, but you will hear my voice and we will go through the screenshots. And that's the most important part anyway. You don't need to be staring at me. All right, let's get into it. Portal, I'm in my security workspace. I've configured my Azure AD B2C, put in all the settings. So that's all good to go. Configured. Azure Active Directory B2C. Now let's go to a website and go through the process of registering a new user. So I'm in my Power Pages website. I'm going to go to sign in. And here we can sign in. If I had an existing account, I don't. I'm going to go to register and the same thing. I'm going to register using an external account. I'm going to choose the AD B2C that I configured. And I need to enter an email address. Now this assumes that I already have an Azure AD B2C user set up. So if I try to just put in an email address, and I'm just going to put in something here, and I'm going to attempt to sign in, it's going to say, we can't seem to find your account. So now the next thing I need to do is don't have an account, I need to sign up. So this can be a little confusing for our end users. But anyways, we're now going to sign up because we need to set up the account separately than we do in Power Pages. So I'm going to hit the sign up now. I'm going to use that same email address, I'm going to get it to send me a verification code. And now I'm going to create the account. So it's created that in Azure, Azure AD B2C. And now what we want it to do is connect it to our Power Pages. It is going to ask me to enter the email address. I'm going to enter that. Then I'm going to hit register. And now we're directed to our profile. Very similar. We would totally expect that. And I can even fill in the details and update this. And then we are now onboarded onto our Power Pages a website using that external identity provider. Now, if I were to log into my Azure portal and go to my Azure ADB to C directory and take a look at my users, I see that user has now been created into my Azure ADB to C. And of course, they have access to Power Pages. So everything checks out. So now let's take a look at trying to um, invite an existing contact to our Power Pages site. So I've gone now to the Power Pages management app, which of course is the model driven app that's used to manage our Power Pages website metadata. If I go to the security section, we see a list of contacts here. I've gone into the Thomas Anderson, which is an existing contact, or it could be a new contact that you're creating. It could already be part of Dataverse or a Dynamics 365 app. Um, we have this person's uh, email here and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite them. Now, when you, from here, there's a new uh, thing in the command bar. Well, new, it's, it's been there for a while, um, where we're going to create the invitation. And this is going to create a new invitation record. I'm going to save this. Now, typically what you would do is you would use a flow to send this via email to this particular user or probably or supply it some other way. I'm going to grab that invitation code. A couple of different ways you can do that if you use um, something like 
um, classic workflows, which kind of comes, you need to configure that, or you could use Power Automate. If you go to the companion blog post, I have a couple links there to help you out with that. So I've got this invitation code. Now let's go back to our Power Pages site and redeem that code. So I'm back to the Power Pages site again. Um, I'm going to go to sign in. Now, typically what I would do, I would provide that URL to the redeem code. I'm just going to paste it in here for now. There it is. And I'm just going to hit register. Um, it's going to tell me I'm redeeming the code. And now I need to go again to the Azure ADB to C to link that together. Same thing here. I need to sign in with the email address. Now, again, if I tried to sign in with the email address, it's going to tell me that a donut doesn't exist. So what I need to do again is go through that process of signing up for my account. So I'm going to quickly go through that. It's the same process as what I did before. So this time after I went through and created that user, the following the same process, I didn't have to supply the email address because I use that invite code. I automatically am taken into the profile page where again, we see that same information that we saw in that contact record. So we've now learned how to register a user and now also to invite a user. But in both cases, it was kind of confusing for the user that they would have to go through and create that Azure AD B2C account, or they'd have to go through, supply the email, go through the whole invitation process. There's a better way that we can onboard our existing users if they've already been set up in our external identity provider. And that way they don't have to go through that whole registration or invitation process. You can just give them access immediately. Now, they will have to have their account set up in that external identity provider. But in a lot of cases, that might have already been done. Maybe on your old system, they're already using that external identity provider. Or you have other methods. You might be onboarding them there for other reasons. So the method I'm going to show you now is how to take those existing users and actually set them up in Power Pages, and that will give them immediate access to the Power Pages website. So in this case, I'm back into my Azure AD B2C directory. And I'm going to take this, this user, Susan Burke. Now, Susan could, you know, could be a user using other applications, or we could go through a process to create this user as calling an API if you're migrating or updating a lot of users. And we can manage that whole login process on the Azure AD B2C side. First off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the object ID. If I'm basically that is going to represent the user. So we have this. So I have this information. And I, what I want to do is be able to get Susan Burke, her account set up in Power Pages. So let's go over to that. So I'm now back into my Power Pages management app. I've either, I could create the contact, I can import the contact. This is an existing contact already. So what we want to do is again, we're in the security contacts, find that user, and we're going to go to web authentication. And here's where we're going to need to fill in some information. So that object that we just copied from Azure ADB to C, we're going to paste that in here, um, that GUID. We're going to basically enable the login. Um, we're going to confirm the email and also lockout enable. In the, the blog post that's part of this, I actually have those schema names. So if you are going to set this up using a flow or some sort of import, uh, you could use those to import that. Now, the other thing I need to fill in is this security stamp. Now, this is a locked field. So there's a couple ways that we can do that. Really, it's just looking for a generic GUID. So if we're generating this using something like Power Automate, there is a GUID function or other ways. It doesn't need to be anything specific. It just needs to be a unique GUID. Um, how we can do this um, in the user interface, there is a flow. So I go to the flow. It's actually a classic workflow and it's called reset security stamp. So I'm going to run this. It would be applied to that contact. Again, we could run this uh, bulk edit, um, different ways we could do that. Um, so what we're going to have to do is wait a couple of minutes and then we're going to see that security stamp show up. So I've waited a couple minutes. I hit the refresh button and now the security stamp is there. So that's good. The next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up the external identity. So we're going to need to capture a bit more information. I'm going to need to go back into my Power Pages Design Studio to capture the authority from my external identity provider. So here I'm in, in my Azure Active Directory B2C configuration. I'm going to grab the authority. I'm going to grab that URL. Um, which is good. Now, this could be Okta. This is Azure ADB to C, but basically it kind of works the same process. I'm going to grab that. Now I'm going to go back and set up that external user identity uh, record. All right. So what we need to do is create a new external identity record. Um, we could do this um, manually how I'm doing now, but you could also create this using Power Automate or using a data import different ways. Username is going to be the same as what we used earlier when we set this up in the web authentication. That is the value that we got from the Azure AD B2C user directory. 
Note that you could also take those list of users and export those to a CSV file. So you could actually do this as part of an import or some sort of data migration matching thing. I'm just trying to keep it simple here doing the manual way, but you can automate it however you want. And then of course we need to provide the identity provider. And that is what we copied from when we set that up from our um, setup there. So we're going to do this. We've set this up. We have now got that done. I'm just save and close. So we have our web authentication. We have our username. We have all this stuff. And so at this point, Susan Burke, this user, has not interacted with the, the website at all, but the person already has an Azure AD B2C user account. So now let's actually have Susan log into the portal and see what that experience is like. All right, I'm back in the site. Let's just hit the sign in button again. Of course, we're going to go to Azure AD B2C, sign in button. And now let's sign in with Susan's uh, email address. Of course, this is the Azure AD B2C account that's already been set up. So maybe they are using this for other things. I'm just going to hit sign in. And immediately we're taking, because this is the first time Susan's logged into the Power Pages site, taken directly into the Power Pages uh, profile page, which is great because that way Susan didn't have to go through a registration process, didn't have to go through an invitation process, is given immediate access to the Power Pages site. So we recovered how to do the um, registration, how to do the invitation, but also this last method of onboarding users probably is going to be very handy in terms of migrating a lot of users over or going through a process. Maybe you're setting up those users using some sort of automation project I'm working on now. We're using Power Automate to actually create the users in the external identity provider, set them up there, get them all configured because there's a lot of other authentication processes that they need to go through but then they immediately have access to the Power Pages site because we're taking that information back, updating their contact information, as well as setting up that external identity provider. A lot of things you can do with this information. Hope you found this video helpful. Again, like, subscribe, do all that regular stuff, and I'll be back soon with another video.